Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I popped into Dunelm. I filmed loads of stuff in store. I wanted to take you guys around and show you what is new in. The main things I was kind of looking for was like cute garden bits in particular, some like fence solar lights. Couldn't find any of those that I liked. I also wanted to go and scope out rugs, but it's just really good to go in and see things that are kind of coming into store anyway, since that we're getting to the point now where we're nearly, nearly ready to start kind of styling and decorating certain rooms. So let me show you guys what I saw in store and then I'll show you a couple of little bits I got. First thing I saw when I walked in was this section here. So they had a really amazing variety of faux plants. They had this really nice faux fern in a wall mounted planter. They also had a solar wall planter as well. They were 20 pounds each. I also spotted these really sweet little kind of sprayer bottles as well. 10 pounds for that white and black one, which is very much my kind of vibe. Around the other side, they also had a really good selection of small planters. This black one was seven pounds and they had a really good variety of faux plants to go in them as well. I was actually really impressed with the variety of little planters and little vases and stuff. They're very much on trend and there were lots of these kind of bubble shaped vases, which I know are really in right now. Spotted this chunky pillar candle base for eight pounds. Again, very much my kind of vibe. And I thought it looked a lot more expensive than it actually was. Dunelm is a great place to pick up some artificial flowers and stems. I actually think I may have these uh, eucalyptus ones here. I can't remember if I got them from here or somewhere else, but they look very, very similar. And they're 2 25 per stem. They also sell these big pillar candles, which are great for the pillar candle bases. I actually really like the green one and they're only three pounds each. I also spotted this really sweet um, candle holder as well. I thought this could also double up as maybe like a little jewelry trinket holder and it was only three pound 50. This is the jug that I swear everyone has and I don't blame them because it is really, really nice. 22 pounds, it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but it has that really nice kind of authentic rustic vibe. I was drawn to these um, plant pots here. They had a couple of different sizes, but I thought these looked so expensive. 28 pounds for this one. It's like a matte white on the bottom and this really nice glazed ceramic on top. I have no idea where I would put these, but I think I'm gonna have to come back and get these at some point because I thought they were so sweet. A bit rustic for my kind of normal taste, but there's something about them that I just absolutely loved. They had this um, whole section was actually filled with lots of more kind of farmhousey, rusticy type things. Again, they had more of these pillar candle holder things in this really nice kind of washed out wood. I was on the lookout for mirrors, couldn't find anything that I liked, but I did spot a couple of cute clocks. This one here has a really nice kind of mid-century modern vibe. I thought this would be great in an office and it has one of these little swinging pendulum things on the bottom. Only 15 pounds for that one. And I spotted this one as well. I thought this would be great in a kitchen. It's a really nice kind of simplistic light wood tone. So it would go with loads of different kind of interior design styles and it was 25 pounds. I've spotted these so many times when I've come in here before, spoiler alert, I did end up picking up one of these, but they have this kind of range of cleaning products. There's literally everything. They have general kind of cleaning products. They have stain removers. They have 
deodorizers. They also have these like fabric kits and leather kits and stuff like that as well. The bottles on them are so, so nice and the branding is really cute as well. This is something I've never seen before, it caught my eye, but these are actually wood repair sticks. So if you have like a wooden table um, and you have like a notch in it, you can get these little wax filler sticks and touch them up. So if anyone likes upcycling things like I do, these might be a really, really good find. I think they're about eight pounds for a pack, but you get a few different kind of color variations in there. Onto the kitchen section, I saw these really sweet kind of reeded ceramic bowls. They were only three pounds each. I also spotted these jars. I don't know what's up with me. This is not normally my kind of vibe, but I thought they were so, so sweet. Definitely more kind of farmhousey, but the tea, coffee and sugar pots were so cute. I seem to always be on the lookout for wooden chopping boards at the moment because I'm planning on stocking up as soon as the kitchen is done. And they actually had a couple of really nice ones here. This one was only eight pounds. It's definitely more of a kind of modern, super simplistic kind of vibe. I tend to find a lot of super rustic ones. So I may come and get this at some point. They had another very similar version with the heart on it, which I equally loved as well. That was a tiny bit more expensive at £12, but still a really, really good price. I thought these were beautiful. The one on the left is £12, but the wood tone was a little bit too dark for me. And the marble one on the right was only £14. I also thought this one was absolute genius. I know this isn't anything new, guys, but they had one of these kind of folding ones here, so it makes it easier to kind of actually use it rather than just display it <laughs> in the cleaning section i saw they had so many of these really nice kind of cute wooden cleaning accessories scrubbing brushes cleaning brushes um i thought the dust pen and brush was really really nice the smallest one was three pounds fifty but the one that i was looking at in particular was actually like the floor standing one with more of a broom attached to it and that was only eight pounds like I said, I wanted to check out the rug section as well. Specifically was on the lookout for more of like a runner style rug. I couldn't find anything that was exactly what I was looking for, but I saw this. I actually thought this looked really expensive considering how cheap it was. It had really nice kind of texture, different kind of tones to it as well. It was 22 pounds for a 60 by one meter 10. This is another rug that I see in here all the time. It's this woolen pebble style rug. Absolutely love these. This is 99 pounds for the runner. Little bit out of my budget of what I kind of wanted to spend, but I think they're so, so beautiful and really nice and soft as well. I don't know if anyone remembers the little console table DIY I did for my old house to go above the radiator in my hallway, but they now sell them in Dunelm. So if you're looking for something like this, you want like a little entryway table where you can chuck your keys and you've got a really annoying radiator in the way, something like this is absolutely perfect. £39, you could DIY it for a bit cheaper, but I actually thought that was a good price. There are a few um, bedside tables I always see in here and I absolutely love them. One of them is this one here and I think it's called the Henry bedside table. I feel like it's fate and I should end up getting this at some point. £159. I think that's a little bit steep, but I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit stingy. They have some really nice kind of like mid-century modern style bedside tables as well. This is another one I've seen so many times. I think it's called like the Akina. Um, 129. It's not the biggest bedside table, but I love the style. And I think they do it in black as well. I haven't seen these stools in here before. So again, these are a little bit more of a kind of rustic style stool than what we're looking for, but I love the wood tone of these. And I also love that it's got that really nice kind of molded seat. They look way more comfortable than your normal kind of like flat wooden stool. They had two different sizes, 59 pounds for the shorter one and 69 for the bar stool. 
Another thing I think is great is actually these entryway benches. They have loads of different ones to choose from, but these are great to have in your hallway to provide storage for shoes and stuff. A lot of them have padded bench tops to them as well so they're nice and comfy to sit on and put your shoes on that's something we've realized when we've moved to a bungalow we don't have stairs to sit on to put our shoes on now so we're definitely going to be having an entryway bench If anyone is on the lookout for a wishbone style chair, they have them in Dunelm, £129 per chair. Wishbone chairs are always super expensive, but they had them in the black and they also had them in the neutral colourway as well. I also spotted these bedside tables. These are more of a kind of cheaper option and a way more kind of compact option as well. They were far smaller than the other ones. So if you're looking for a space saving option, these could be the one. I saw these drawers, absolutely fell in love. I think these are so beautiful. They have the really nice kind of cane backing to the drawers really simplistic kind of brass knobs 349 pounds which i thought was actually really overpriced i opened the drawers and actually they were a bit stiff not the smoothest kind of most practical however this is solid wood it's 100 percent mango wood so considering that it is solid wood i actually think the price is fair for that next up i went and eyed up some of the lights um, we are going to be having a light above our dining room table so I'm on the lookout for something kind of like this they didn't have exactly what I kind of had in mind but I thought £75 for that was a really really good price but the range is insanely vast another popular item for summer egg chairs they always pop up this kind of time of year this one it, this is the egg chair that I would buy if I was getting one. Absolutely loved the kind of mix of black, the natural kind of woven basket, and this really, really thick padded kind of seat area. It looks so, so comfy. In the outdoor section, I also spotted these. So these were £22 each. They're actually bird baths. Um, they're quite small, but I thought these could actually also double up as maybe like a little side table to put your drink on or something like that, depending on what you want to use it for. But maybe you could also DIY something yourself. I didn't realise I wanted a bird box until I saw the bird boxes. Um, this is £18. I don't know, they seemed a bit expensive to me, but maybe I'm just being stingy. But I think I'm going to keep an eye open for a really cute little bird box to put in our garden. And then last up, I saw these. I thought these would be so, so cute on a windowsill in a kitchen or even a bathroom. Photo pre balls in a really nice wicker basket and they were £20. So it's actually been a while since I've been into Dunelm, I think. Um, there were quite a few new things in, in particular like loads of garden stuff, obviously spring, summertime. They've definitely stocked up on loads of stuff for the garden, loads of really cute things. Um, and just loads of like really little decor pieces. Another thing that I was looking for was a mirror to go on our like fireplace above our fire, or well, not our fire, our fire opening area. Um, but they didn't have anything that was exactly what I was looking for. Um, I did think I would pick up more stuff than I actually did. The bits that I got are really boring, but I did also pop into a charity store when I got some bits I'll show you now. Like I said, we are very nearly at the stage where we can actually start decorating things in the house. And I know I get asked this question a lot when I go and do like shopping videos and people say, oh, you don't buy much. And that is because I'm someone who likes to, I have to absolutely 
don't love something to buy it um and also like we don't really have anywhere to store stuff at the moment like the spare room is completely chocolate block the garage is chocolate block as well so like i get really overwhelmed when i buy loads of stuff and it's just kind of like sat around making clutter um so until we're at the point where i can actually buy stuff and put it in the rooms i want it to live in I need to kind of hold back a bit and also it's really difficult because a lot of our stuff's been in storage for so long I can't even remember the bits of decor that I have at this point so yeah I am trying to be really refrained but I only get stuff if I absolutely must have it so the two very boring things that I picked up from Dunelm are these two things so like I said I have picked up a couple of more interesting things in the charity shop but I've seen these a few times in there actually and never got around to buying them. If you're someone who wants to have like an aesthetically pleasing kind of cleaning set up and all the cute bottles and stuff, I definitely recommend getting these. So they do their own um, range of cleaning products. The one that I went for is the Daily Shower Cleaner. So in case you guys haven't seen our ensuite video, I will tag that, but we have this shower niche and I want everything in it to look nice and clean and aesthetically pleasing. And one thing that we put is massive glass shower screen. I wanted like a daily shower cleaning spray that we can kind of spray and keep it um, kind of streak free. So I grabbed this one. I think it was like £2.50. So really affordable. And my plan is just reuse the bottle again and again and put whatever cleaning product I want in there. So really cost effective way to get a very cute bottle. They're plastic, so if you drop them, they're not gonna break anything. And actually they're really, really good quality. I've already used this and I was really surprised how good the kind of like spray was on it and stuff. The only thing I did not realize that it is unscented. So I actually ended up putting a tiny bit of Astonish um, disinfectant in there just to make it smell nice. Cause I'm someone that when I use cleaning products, it has to have like a nice smell to it. So really happy with that. Looks very cute in the shower niche. And the second product I got is this. <sighs> this, right, <laughs> I can't use this yet. This is the Method Squirt and Mop Floor Cleaner. I have a steam mop, but I still like, you don't technically need to use cleaning products with a steam mop, but I love the smell of this. I told you guys I'm like a very scent person. So this is the wild rhubarb one and it smells incredible. All of the like method cleaning stuff smells so good. The other one they have, which is a specific wood one is almond. I'm not as keen on that one. Almond as a scent doesn't really do it for me, but this wild rhubarb is so nice. But what's really frustrating is for majority of the house, we can't use this yet because we don't have our new floor down. We have self-leveler on the floor and I'm getting to the point where we can hoover, but we're not allowed to mop it. And it's just like constantly dusty, but hopefully at the end of this week, um, we're having our builders make a start on the kitchen. So I'm hoping like once all of the units are in that we can actually, um, put our floor down and mop it. So I think this was three pounds for, a 739 milliliter bottle it lasts quite a long time so you don't actually need that much um i've used it before love it and method is a brand are like um non-toxic plant-based like eco-friendly all of that jazz so they sell them in Donnell. um as, as do loads of places sell them okay so those are my two boring Donnell purchases and now um charity shop stuff so near Dunelm the one that I went to there is a cancer research store it's one of those like really big new ones I've seen them pop up all over the place and generally speaking they don't tend to be that good for home stuff um and there was basically nothing in there that I liked apart from the bits I actually picked up so one thing that I didn't get but I did love I'll put in some photos they had this kind of um low coffee table pedestal kind of style coffee table really really nice it was discounted absolutely loved it we've actually already got something in the garage that i'm going to upcycle for our coffee table so i wasn't interested in it but i thought it was like a really cool unique design really good price it was laminate and the laminate was a little bit messed up but i think that could be fixable 
yeah for the price i thought it was good so saw that that was cool i ended up buying these so these are brand new in the box as you can see they are the full to lick um candlesticks from ikea i'll put in a photo here of what they look like when they're not in the box but i had i knew that i wanted to get some of those nice kind of tall candlesticks at some point you guys know i like the black kind of metal vibe um they're 10 pounds brand new from ikea they were in there for three pounds so i thought why not you get a set of three for three pounds i thought that was a pretty good find and i thought i could either style them on like the mantelpiece once i get it up and running um or just like the dining table even for stuff like christmas have some like cute little candles on the table yeah i was pretty happy with that find and then oh, <laughs> i got this right i showed steve this and his reaction was like oh just another pot i thought this was so nice i was so surprised when i saw it in there so it's a taller kind of pot it's a proper i think it's like a proper clay pot i don't think it's like a resin um and it's this really nice kind of blonde textured don't know if you guys will be able to see it, if my camera wants to focus or not but there's some really really nice like texturing on there it's got like a slight kind of whitewash vibe to it i kind of saw it in store and thought oh do you know what i could paint it if i wanted to but now i've bought it back i love it you guys know that a lot of our house is going to be white and like accents of black so what i'm gonna try and do is bring in a lot more kind of neutral warmer colors to kind of soften it up our floor is going to be like a really nice kind of light soft oaky color so that'll add a lot of warmth so i just wanted to make sure that i'm adding like texture and like slightly warmer kind of colors where i can so it doesn't look super sterile and just the monochrome um so yeah really happy with this nice big size i was planning on putting some nice kind of tall stems of something in there um, and putting it in the hallway but steve was very stumped that i wouldn't use it as an umbrella pot <laughs> so let me know what you guys would do whether you would use it as more functional storing umbrellas in there or aesthetic nice kind of flowers or green stems or even pampas grass or something like that let me know what you would choose really good size absolutely love it and actually it's not often that i pick something like this up and i don't want to upcycle it but this was five pounds so i thought that was considering you'd spend about like minimum 30 quid on something like this i was very impressed with that find so that was my little trip i didn't film anything in the charity shop because like i said i instantly walked in and was like there's really not very much kind of home stuff in here and there was a lot of very small knick-knacky glassware and things like that but nothing that was that nice although i have seen the um just down the road from us they have a flea market which is open a few times a week it's like a big indoor flea market so i want to take steve along to that he's gonna hate it um but i want to go and do that on the weekend um so i'll try and like vlog that if it's any good which i think it is because i've seen the photos online but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button got lots more all sorts going on loads of home updates and everything so yeah make sure you subscribe and don't forget to drop this video a like because it really supports my channel and i will see you guys in the next one